All right, guys, today we're making pita bread or pita. Don't be in my comments with all the cultural appropriation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically you got to activate the yeast. Then you throw that flour combination in and you mix it all around. Don't talk about my wrist. I don't really care. In the middle, I had a sore fight. I was bored. Now you got to add your oil and your flour. Mix that all together. Of course, real nice, real nice, real nice. And of course, now I need the dough. Like I do to your mother's rolls every- Hey, 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 stop, no! Wait, that wasn't Of course that script. wasn't in the darn script! Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, so now you gotta oil the pan and, you know, put your dough back in there. And let it rest for about an hour. When you come back, it should be full. You gotta give that light punch, that light one. Roll out some flour, put that dough out. Now you gotta knead it again. Like I be doing your grandma's Yo, man, rolls. stick that to That wasn't the in the script either. Look, man, don't be mad at me, because you ain't getting none yesterday. I was all up in them yams, at me feeling like Fetty. Can I get to the yams? Oh, now you gotta come into eight pieces though. Then you gotta go ahead and roll them up and roll them out into circles. Now you wanna throw them on that hot cast iron, flip it a couple times. Then you should be all good to go. When I'm telling you guys this bread had me feeling like a 50 year old at Hooters. Juiced up and exacerbated. One yam. Why be here?